You have no idea how proud I am of you. You are incredible, truly amazing at being you. Win or lose, you're always going to be that person to me. So last week I was down in Leeds to compete in Europe's Strongest Man 2022 for Giants Live. had the best athletes in Europe plus Bobby Thompson and Iron Bibby who came across for the World Log Lift Championships. We are at the first direct arena in Leeds for Europe's Strongest Man. Very excited, very nervous to be here. Luke has just had a wee look at the log, see what that's all about. Backstage now, just kind of going through how they're going to come out and stuff like that. There's, there's a lot to it, you think. It's just warming up at a comp and then going out and, and competing. It's not. There's a good few hours of walkthroughs and stuff. Probably the worst part about it, because you just want to get in, a, in about it, you know? What does it feel like to see your brother competing? So seeing Luke compete makes me so proud. It's awesome. Looking really full focused, everything's just going up and up, you know, um, his log's looking great, all his moving events are just, it's like a steam train, you know, just keeps on going. He knows what he wants to do and he's put in the work to do it. He's done all the recovery, he's done all the mobility, obviously he's trained, he's got Dan there to help him out and things, Cushy for support and then all of us. I don't see, don't see why, I can't, why you can't get a first place finish. Event one was the Max Log Press, which was the World Log Lift Championship. So opening weight was 170 kilos. I opted to open at 185, so did 185, no problem. Some of the guys unfortunately failed the opening lift. So I did 185, then opted for 200 kilos. The 200 kilos felt very comfortable. I think one of the most comfiest 200 kilo log presses I've ever done. That would have won the show, but the the crowd were pretty, pretty electric. And with Bobby and Iron Bibby, you know, we, I, I don't get a chance to go up against these two guys that often. So I opted to go to 218, which was quite a big jump. Bobby went up first. Unfortunately, Bobby was carrying a bit of an injury in his leg and his abductor, I think it was. He didn't quite get it, unfortunately. I stepped up to 218. I managed to press it. Yeah, I was really excited about really happy with Iron Bibby. He pressed it, no problem. 218 is a big log, it's a big press. I'm kind of thinking, should I carry on? I've got Europe's strongest man to do. When you're going up against someone like Iron Bibby, you got to give it a go, you know? So we said, yeah, put the 230 kilos on. I get quite aggressive and I need to have that aggression. Everyone kind of sees Dan shouting at me and telling me stuff and, and it probably looks like I want to punch Dan in the face and I do. I, I want to punch Dan in the face a lot. I get so aggressive I, I have tears in my eyes. So that's why that's a lot of the times why I wear sunglasses because I have tears in my eyes that before walking out for the 218 I had tears in my eyes because I'm that emotional and that invested in what I do. I I go to bad places before I do these, these lifts. So Dan just reminds me who I am, what type of person I am, why I'm doing it, why I'm here, who I'm representing, and you know, what my, my goal is. The goal is to show everyone that I'm the best log press in the world and I'm gonna be world's strongest man. So when Dan says that, it gets me very, very aggressive, very switched on, very hyped up, and those emotions are very real for me. When I'm competing, I can't hide my emotions, I can't hide the way I'm feeling. I, I'm very much, you know, heart on the sleeve kind of guy, as I think everyone can see. That's what I need to be. So Dan plays his part very well in that instance, and that's what I need before I go out and do these big lifts. Darren Sadler, one of the owners of Giants Live, kindly said to us, look guys, come out on the stage, 
warm up on the actual implement and on the actual place that we're going to be pressing. So I think hats off to Darren for, for doing that and allowing us to do that because we could all feel the log, we could all warm up on the actual log, see how how the, the log reacted to the grip shirts. I wasn't wearing one, but I wore my normal t-shirt. And then I did an attempt, I think it was 160 with glasses and then one without glasses. And for me, the, the sunglasses was a, was a must. You know, looking up into the lights, it can be very blinding and very disorientating. But with my sunglasses on, um, it just stops that from, from happening. Um, so yeah, that, that was a, a thing I took away from last year. I was very annoyed at myself for not taking every, every precaution that was necessary. So for me, that was, that was a good learning curve. And, you know, a pair of sunglasses are now always with me at every competition I do. You saw me wearing them in Worlds when I got the Max Log Press win there. You saw me when I was in Arnold's, got the Max Log Press win there. And then you also saw me at Europe's Strongest Man winning the Max Log Press with Iron Bibby. So, you know, that's the last well, sorry, four competitions I've, I've won the Max Logs, so I'm pretty happy with my, my consistency in that, and, and I think that's, you know, learning from your mistakes is very important in Strongman, and I, I think I do that quite well. So yeah, hats off to Darren um, for allowing us to, to go out on stage and, and kind of practice with the implement. So event two was the deadlift ladder. We had five deadlifts to complete, ranging from 300 kilos for the first one, 325 the second, 350 the third, 375 the fourth, and the last was 400 kilos. So this was on a normal bar, a barbell, deadlift, uh, deadlift barbell. I was a little bit anxious, I think, going into this event. I was warming up backstage. I did 300 kilos warm up. It didn't feel the best. It didn't feel as, as light as it should have done. And in all honesty, switching from the axle into the, the normal barbell, um, it takes me you know a few weeks just to get into the swing of things. and. Only had maybe a couple of weeks to, to kind of prep for this. Training hadn't been the best, but still, I was up last in the last pairing. I knew what I had to do. My goal was three reps very fast, as fast as I could. Did the third rep, the 350, it felt very comfortable. Decided to, you know, compose myself, take a couple of seconds, and then go and do the fourth rep. And the 375 kilos came up very nicely, very very comfortably I thought and I was extremely happy with that you know that was a that was a great finish for me in, in deadlift and you know I'm happy with the progression the way that's moving forward Europe's Strongest Man it was a test for me to see how well my prep is going for World's Strongest Man so after the second event Alexia and myself were joint points I think we both had 20 points so um, you know quite tight at the top um, again I knew it was going to be a battle with Alexi. Alexi's one of these athletes that's just, you can never write out right off, and he's just an, an absolutely incredible athlete in person. Um, so that was event two. Third event was the anchor carry into chain drag. So this event was was a little bit different from normal. So we had an anchor, but to run with the anchor 20 meters, 120 kilos, drop the anchor down and then flip the, the wee handle and there was a clip that attached the chain to the anchor and then you had to pull it. A little element for mistakes in this one. I just took maybe half a second, a second, just to ensure that the, the hook was attached correctly. With these type of events, that makes a big difference, you know, that's the difference between finishing fifth to first place, effectively. You know, I think I was 28 seconds and Alexi was 26-ish. Those seconds really add up for making up some points. But I would rather have just had that double check just to ensure that everyone was attached right and then go. So I was up against Shane and Marius Lalas, who are both very fast guys, so I knew I had to kind of go very quickly in this one. Shane just picked me in, in this heat, so you know, hats off to Shane. Great performance from Shane. Very impressed with Shane Flowers, actually. I wouldn't say up and coming because he's there already. You know, he's proven himself every competition he does, and I think he's a very respectful guy and, and a great ambassador for Strongman, so I'm very excited to see what Shane can do at Worlds. Maybe if I'd just popped the anchor down on the link and just gone, it would have maybe you know, move me up to third, to third place maybe, but then on the other side, it might have meant that I made a mistake and I had to go and reattach it and maybe made me in last place. So there's always a, you know, you can look on either side of the coin there on that one. But for me, I was happy. Again, very consistent and it kept me, 
in the top two. You know, that performance was still, I was still in the top two after the third event. So the fourth event was the power stairs. We had four implements to lift up three steps, ranging from 200 to 250 kilos for the last one. The steps were set to 18 inches, quite a, a reasonable kind of height to, to load. So you had to be very quick in this one. It was very explosive. It's an old event, but it hasn't been around for quite a while. I think everyone was quite tense in this one to see how it went. I was up against Ivars. Ivars was very explosive, very quick. I'd loaded the first three pretty well. Just as I was coming back down, I kind of lost my footing and it kind of threw me off. You know, it lost me a couple of seconds. I think that was the, the only annoying thing for me um, is, is losing my footing like that. I shouldn't be doing that. It's something to learn from. A little bit more composure, a little bit more height needed. We were told that every part of the object had to be across or sitting on the platform. So just a lot of things like that, you know, it, it does add up to, to cost me a few points. Um, but I still put in a good performance. I was very, you know, I was okay with this this result. I was happy finishing all the, the power stairs. There's rumors that there's going to be a power stairs in World's Strongest Man. So with that being said, you know, it was a, a, a good, uh, good first performance on power stairs for me. The final event, event number five, was the Atlas Stones. So it ranged from 100 up to 180 kilos. It was a new 180 uh, stone. It was a, a lot bigger diameter than we're normally used to, so a little bit different in, in the previous sets. Alexi and myself were last out, so all the guys had been up before us. I think the, the fastest time before us was about 24, just over 24 seconds. It was the same as last year, you know, in Europe's Strongest Man last year. It was Alexi and myself. You know, one mistake can cost you big and strong, man. I love this type of setting, you know, the energy. It's just oozing. You know, you, the energy from the crowd, the energy from Alexi, it's just oozing and it's just uh, just coming into me and I'm just so pumped up. The stones I knew was going to be very electric and it was. It was so, so good. <laughs> motion the 100, one motion the 120, the 140, the 160 I one motioned and I'm thinking to myself should I one, one motion the 180 I thought because it was a bigger diameter I just went on the safer side of things um, and I just tipped forward a little bit to reposition and then popped it up and literally it was like a fraction off a hundredth of a second, I think, between us. So you could hardly see the difference when our hands came off the stones. But regardless, I knew that we'd got the fastest times. I knew Alexi had won Europe's Strongest Man. I was absolutely ecstatic for him. You know, the the work that Alexi's been putting in across in Ukraine at the moment to, you know, to help his people to try and bring peace back to the Ukraine, um, I think it's exceptional. You know, whatever you're your views are um, on the conflict, whatever it is, I don't know. But all Alexi wants is peace. And I think the work he's been doing, the day and night, he's been relentless in that. And I could see that in his eyes, the emotion, the, uh, the, the sense of pride that he had for winning Europe's Strongest Man. It was absolutely ex exceptional. So, you know, I think Alexi tried to lift me up. I might have been a bit too heavy for him to lift up. Um, so then I picked him up and we celebrated together. It was the celebration for me that Alexi won. You know, that's all I was doing. I was celebrating Alexi's performance, his his greatness. To win Europe's strongest man isn't isn't easy. It's a, it's a huge title to win. The way the crowd, you know, basically gave him a standing ovation. It was one of the most memorable performances the most memorable competitions I think I've done. I was so happy for him. I couldn't want a person to win something more than I, I did for Alexi. And that didn't, that didn't um, have a detrimental effect to my performance. I performed 
I think one of the most consistently I've performed um, in any competition I've done. I think it was a great performance for myself. There was a couple of little little errors, little blunders in my, my half, as there always is, and that was a, an exceptional performance from Alexi, and I'm so, so happy for him. I keep saying that he's one of the greatest ever strongmen to live, and I truly believe that. Yeah, a great honour to call him a friend and a, yeah, a brother from another mother, for sure. That's what I see Alexi as. What is going on, Alexi? You get my emotions going, mate. Honestly, I enjoyed that today. You know, that was good, you know, from the long press. The deadlift went really well for me, really happy with that. Power stairs just tripped up a little bit on that. That's the only mistake I think I made. Last stone could have been a little bit quicker. Um, so it's just little things, little things for me. I'm happy, Alexi won. You know, I don't I would feel guilty winning it, to be honest. Alexi is like a brother to me. He's, he's lived with us up in Evergarden, he's stayed there for a week. I love him like a brother and I'm so happy, you know, what Alexi is going through. He's got to go back and fight, you know, that's... It's insane, so, I mean, what an athlete. I mean, it's just insane. Alexi is Europe's strongest man now. He deserves that title. I've had it, you know, I've had it last year. Coming second's not bad, right? I'll take it. So, yeah, I'm excited. We've got to go and sign some stuff for the fans. I can't wait for a beer. I'm buzzing. This guy is unstoppable, eh? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Like but you know, there is one thing. The big brother, you know, I've all, the big brother, I've always a chance to win against yeah, the younger brother, of course. Yeah. yeah. Take your heart off the overcoat. Yeah. Jeez, he's a phenomenal person as well. That's an athlete. Yeah, man. And what he's going through at the minute back home. And we all get to go home and go home. Listen, I mean, I was just saying this earlier. Us Brits, like, we get a flat tire all week through. <laughs> you know, he's actually fighting a war on the front line, firing bullets. And he's coming. He's not doing once, has he? Oh, he's just got on with that. He's uh, a testament to to us as strong. Well done, mate. I love you loads. Uh, you're a massive inspiration to me every single day. It was amazing seeing you perform, and I can't wait to see you at World Strongest Man 2022. My message to Luke is throughout all of the hard work that I know that he does, people don't see that at all. People don't see that he leaves the house at 5 a.m., not coming home till late at night, trying to juggle being a businessman, trying to juggle being a strong man, and to support his family. You have no idea how proud I am of you. You are incredible. Um, you are truly amazing at being you. And I'm so lucky and I'm so grateful to be by your side. And win or lose, you're always going to be that person to me. <laughs> Why do you always do this to me, Simon? What this was used for was an indication of how prep is going for World Strongest Man because for me nothing else matters apart from World Strongest Man. That's the biggest title. I need to win that, I want to win that, and I'll do anything I can to win that. This, this show, Europe's Strongest Man, has given me the utmost confidence in my abilities now. You know, I feel like I'm on the path now. I feel that I'm on that path to winning World's Strongest Man and I can say that with great confidence now. Even though I came second, even though Alexi beat me, I'm still brimming with confidence. You know, those, those events going into Europe's Strongest Man, they weren't overly great for me. Okay, there was a Max Log, that's great, but the other events, not overly good, but I was consistent. My deadlift has, was vastly better than it's ever been before. And that's all I care about now is World's Strongest Man. Even when I'm sleeping, I'm dreaming about it. The term win or lose, it depends on the person that beats you. So for me, I've come away from Europe's Strongest Man feeling like a winner because of Alexi winning. I know it sounds very strange. I don't feel like I've lost. I was beat by a better man, which is fine. I can, I can admit that and I'm, I'm very, very happy. But my performance was a winning performance because again, all I can do is beat myself and I've, my performance was better than any other performance I've done. So for me, that's a win. And on Saturday, Europe's Strongest Man, I put in a performance that I don't think I've ever done before. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got the passion 
coming through the, uh, watching it because there was such an abundance of passion, emotion, raw emotion um, in Europe's Strongest Man. So if you did like the video, please give it a like, please give it a comment and please don't forget to subscribe. So please, as always, stay safe, smile and stay spicy. Keep ringing that little bell. Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling! -a -ling -a -ling.